Hi, this is Chris Russell with BNR Equipment. I'm going to be demonstrating basic operation of a Caterpillar High Track Dozer. In this case, I will be operating a Caterpillar D8T High Track. Uh, for starters, you always want to make sure you do a basic operation check of the machine before actually starting the machine up. You want to check all fluids and filters. Uh, make sure you have no leaks, make sure fluids are at capacity, and make sure the machine's safe to start and operate before actually turning on the ignition. You can find a video demonstrating some of these basic checkpoints on our YouTube channel. To begin operation of the Caterpillar D8T dozer, you're going to want to locate the ignition switch on the right hand side of the console, turn the key on, and start the ignition. The ignition switch on smaller series dozers will be located in the front panel. Next, I'm going to be demonstrating the basic operation of the dozer blade controls. To lift your blade, you're going to, want to simply pull back on the dozer control lever and this will lift the blade. To lower the blade or return it to the down position, you're going to want to push forward on the dozer control lever and this will lower the blade back to the ground or into the digging position. To angle the blade, you'll simply move the blade control lever to the left or to the right and this will control the angle or the pitch the blade is in. demonstrate the ripper control function of the DAT dozer. Uh, if your dozer is equipped with a ripper function, it will have a lever on the, for instance, on the D8s. Uh, the lever will be similar to this. If it is a smaller dozer, you may have just a basic generic lever that you pull forward or backwards to raise or lower the ripper. On the Caterpillar D8 dozers, the dozer's uh, ripper is controlled by rotating this lever either up or down to lower or raise the ripper. On the Caterpillar D8 rippers, they have a function here. You can actually control the pitch of the dozer ripper blade, which can be controlled by angling this lever. show you the basic operation of controlling the dozer to actually move the dozer. First, you're going to want to make sure your implements are up off the ground. You're going to want to raise the blade as well as raise your ripper so you're not dragging the implements across the ground when trying to move the dozer. Uh, also, you're going to want to note that you do have a brake pedal and decel pedal in the floorboard. That's going to control the braking of the machine as well as controlling the engine RPM so you can desell the machine and slow it down as needed. To release the part brake, you're going to want to press down on this switch located in the forward and reverse lever. That will release the part brake of the machine, allowing it to be able to move. So, with the implements off the ground and part brake released, you can take your forward reverse lever, switch it to the reverse position to run the machine in reverse. Move the handle back to neutral. If safe, proceed to forward. This will track the door dozer forward.
when the machine is completed operation or if you've got the machine where you need to shut it down for the day always want to make sure you re-engage the park brake for safety if the park brake will not re-engage make sure your lever is centered up otherwise it will not allow you to pull that park brake switch back up This basically includes the uh, basic operations of a CAT uh, DAT bulldozer. Give us a jingle, 817-379-1340. Thank you and God bless.